हे हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम वेरी मच ग्रेटफुल टू ईच एंड एवरी वन हु सपोर्टेड मी ऑन दिस जर्नी आर रिसेंट वीडियो हैज जस्ट हिट ओवर टू थाउजेंड व्यूज अ ह्यूज थैंक यू फॉर योर एनकरेजमेंट एंड एंथुजियाजम योर सपोर्ट कीप्स मी मोटिवेटेड एंड इंस्पायर्ड टू कीप क्रिएटिंग न्यू वीडियोज सो नाउ दैट वी हैव अर फ्लिपर जीरो लेट्स गेट द बेसिक्स डन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अपडेट द फॉर्मवेयर Firmware is basically a type of software that is embedded into hardware devices to control their functions. All you need to do is just download the QFlipper application for desktop. The QFlipper application just helps you to update the firmware via PC. Okay, looks like it's downloaded. We'll just install it. It will take a while. Now that it's done, I'll open the application, and here, as you can see, it is telling me to connect my Flipper Zero. So here, I'll just connect my Flipper Zero via USB. It is now connected. I'll just click on Update so that it gets updated to the latest firmware. Yeah, as you can see, it's updating. I'll click on continue and it's done. Now as you can see the latest firmware is 0.104.0. The next thing what we are going to do is install the Flipper Zero application for Android. I'll go to Play Store and install it. You can connect to a Flipper Zero to your Android device via Bluetooth. This allows you to manage and interact with Flipper Zero directly without using its physical buttons. You can also easily update the firmware through your Flipper Zero application. Now that it's installed, I'll go to my Flipper Zero, enable Bluetooth. I'll go to settings, and as I can see, my Bluetooth is on. Fine. I'll click on connect here, and you can see my device has been successfully synced with my Flipper Zero application. And from here, you can access the Flipper Zero. You can also control the Flipper Zero via your Android application. This makes it very convenient. Also you can install applications from your Android directly to your Flipper Zero. Now we are going to explore the different types of firmwares available for Flipper Zero. All these firmwares are free and open source. For this video we are going to only cover four firmwares in a short summary. So let's get started. First we have the Rogue Master. The Rogue Master is a community driven firmware that focuses on providing enhanced functionality and additional features not present in the stock firmware. It has enhanced tools which includes extra tools and utilities for various types of attacks and experiments. This is best for those users who want additional features and tools beyond the stock firmware with a focus on customization and community driven enhancement. The second one is the Unleashed firmware. It is also known for maximizing the potential of Flipper Zero, providing a rich set of features and tools. You have the RFID fuzzer plugin, universal IR remote for multiple devices, and also sub gigahertz static code support. On the third, we have the Extreme firmware. This firmware aims to push the boundaries of what a Flipper Zero can do. by providing even more extensive set of features and customization options i myself was using this firmware for more than 3 weeks and i really enjoyed it the fourth firmware is the momentum firmware momentum is known for its focus on providing a balanced mix of new features enhancements and improved functionality it also provides a very good user friendly experience So now let's install the Momentum firmware. First of all, we'll go to the releases and we will download the QFlipper package. Once the file is downloaded, I'll go to my Flipper and I'll click on Install from file. From here, I will load the Momentum firmware and I'll click on Install. As you can see, it is started to install. This process may take a while. 
Now the firmware is successfully installed. After clicking on continue, you can see the Momentum firmware comes with a robust UI. It is very user friendly. I'll just click on next. Okay, and yes, it's done. This UI is an improvised version of the Extreme firmware. There are various graphics which are available. I'll go to interface and click on graphics. I'll select to watch dogs. And here you can see the theme seems super cool. In this firmware, you can also enable dark mode. For accessing the other features, you need the different version of Flipper Zero. That's the reason it's showing locked. You can also change the dolphin levels manually. Now, if you want to change the name of the flipper under spoofing options, you can go to flipper name and change the flipper's name. In my case, I'm giving it as Tech Eyes. And then I'll click on save. And when I go back, and yes, now it's changed to Tech Eyes. There are also tons of games included, which you can explore yourselves. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe to my channel for further updates.